Understanding Azure Data Lake Store. In this video, we'll introduce you to the Azure Data Lake Store and compare it to Azure Blob Storage. We'll also go over ways to get your data into Azure Data Lake Store. Azure Data Lake Store is an enterprise-wide hyperscale repository for big data analytic workloads. It enables you to capture data of any size, type, and ingestion speed in one single place for operational and exploratory analytics. Azure Data Lake Store can be accessed from Hadoop, available with HD Insight Cluster, using the Web HDFS compatible REST APIs. It is specifically designed to enable analytics on the stored data and is tuned for performance for data analytics scenarios. Out of the box, it includes all the enterprise-grade capabilities, security, manageability, scalability, reliability, and availability, essential for real-world enterprise use cases. Microsoft describes Data Lake Store as a hyperscale repository for big data analytic workloads. This lets you store all of your data and analyze them in their native format. Azure Data Lake Store is a Hadoop file system, which is compatible with HDFS and works with the Hadoop ecosystem. It provides industry standard availability and reliability and also provides enterprise grade security for all data. Azure Data Lake Store provides unlimited storage and is suitable for storing a variety of data. It is built for running large scale analytic systems that require massive throughput to query and analyze large amounts of data. Data Lake Store allows you to store relational and non-relational data. It also does not require a schema to be defined before the data is loaded. This data can be from devices, videos, and web applications. Here data can be further classified into unstructured data. This data either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized. It is typically text heavy and may contain data like dates, numbers, and facts. Semi-structured data. These are self-describing structures that do not conform with the formal structure of data models associated with the relational database or other forms of data tables. Then you have structured data. This data resides in a fixed field within a record file. It includes data contained in relational databases and spreadsheets. The Azure Data Lake is built from the ground up as a native Hadoop distributed file system, or HDFS, working out of the box with the Hadoop ecosystem including Azure HD Insight common Hadoop distributions like Hortonworks and Cloudera, and other Apache projects like Spark, Storm, Kafka, R, and more. One of the prior requirements is the availability of data at any place and any time. ADL Store provides industry standard availability and reliability in the following ways. The ADL Store automatically replicates the data to help against unexpected hardware failures and make sure it is available when you need it. We keep three copies within a single region. Azure Data Lake Store provides unlimited storage and is suitable for storing a variety of data for analytics. Azure Data Lake has unbounded scale with no limits to how much data can be stored in a single account. While other cloud storage offerings might restrict individual file sizes to 5 terabytes, Azure Data Lake can store very large files in the petabytes, 200 times larger, with immediate read-write access and high throughput. Useful for scenarios like high-resolution videos, scientific, medical, large backup data, event streams, web logs, IoT scenarios, and more. Everything can be collected and stored in Azure Data Lake without restriction or prior understanding of business requirements. Azure Data Lake is built for running large analytic systems that require massive throughput to query and analyze petabytes of data. Other cloud storage solutions are not always optimized for parallel computation, resulting in additional work for application developers. With Azure Data Lake, you only need to focus on the application logic and we will automatically optimize for any throughput level. All of your data are assets and have present and future value. Azure Data Lake provides rich capabilities to both manage and secure your data assets so that you will have peace of mind. You will be able to monitor performance, receive alerts, and audit usage. Azure Data Lake is integrated with Azure Active Directory to provide a comprehensive identity and access management solution over all of your data. Auditing. Azure Data Lake Store creates the audit logs for all operations. 
These audit logs can be analyzed with Azure Data Lake USQL scripts. Access Control Azure Data Lake Store provides access control by supporting POSIX style permissions exposed by the Web HDFS protocol. Permissions can be specified at the data lake level and will be applied to all the files and folders in the data lake. It provides benefits for all AAD features, including multi-factor authentication, conditional access, role-based access control, and security monitoring. Encryption at rest. Azure Data Lake provides the server-side encryption of data with the help of keys, including customer-managed keys and the Azure Key Vault. This slide depicts the ingress of Azure Data Lake Store. Azure Data Lake Store can get any data from anywhere to Azure Data Lake in their native format, as is without requiring any prior transformations. Azure Data Lake Store does not require a schema to be defined before the data is loaded, leaving it up to the individual analytics framework to interpret the data and define a schema at the time of the analysis. Being able to store files of arbitrary sizes and formats, on-premises legacy systems, cloud-born, events existing cloud stores, makes it possible for Azure Data Lake Store to handle structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. This slide depicts the egress of Azure Data Lake Store. Azure Data Lake Store containers for data are essentially folders and files. Richness of data movement tools, you operate on the stored data using SDKs, the Azure Portal, and Azure PowerShell. As long as you put your data into the store using these interfaces and using the appropriate containers, you can store any type of data. Azure Data Lake Store does not perform any special handling of data based on the type of data that it stores. Azure Data Lake Store is an enterprise-wide hyperscale repository for big data analytic workloads. Blob storage is the usual way of storing file-based information in Azure. In terms of storage, both of these options differ as Azure Data Lake Store is more optimized for analytics, whereas Azure Blob Storage is the usual way of storing file-based information in Azure. This could be the bulk storage of files. Also, this could be the data which will not be accessed very often or may never be, but the organization wants to keep that data. This is otherwise known as cold storage. In Azure Data Lake Store and Azure Blob Storage, one has to pay for the amount of store they are using and for the I.O. operations. With Azure Data Lake Store, the cost of the amount stored and the I.O. operations is more than that of Azure Blob Storage. Azure Data Lake Store is fully compliant with the Web HDFS 2.7 specification. It enables applications not running inside Hadoop clusters to access data in HDFS. It also includes all operations to create, read, write, and rename files and directories. File read and write calls are directed to corresponding data nodes. It takes advantage of HDFS parallelism and uses the full bandwidth of Hadoop clusters. And it retains the security that the native Hadoop protocol offers. Azure Blob Storage does not support Web HDFS. Azure Data Lake Store is built for running large-scale analytic systems that require massive throughput to query and analyze large amounts of data. The Azure Data Lake spreads parts of a file over a number of individual storage servers. This improves the read throughput when reading the file in parallel for performing data analytics. In the current release, permissions can be specified at the Data Lake level and will apply to all the files and folders within. Future updates, however, will enable fine-grained access control by allowing permissions to be specified on individual files and folders. Azure Data Lake Store integrates with Azure Active Directory for identity and access management for all the data stored in Azure Data Lake Store. As a result of the integration, Azure Data Lake benefits from all AAD features, including multi-factor authentication, conditional access, role-based access control, application usage monitoring, security monitoring, alerting, and so on. Azure Data Lake Store supports the OAuth 2.0 protocol for authentication within the REST interface. Azure Data Lake Store uses Azure Active Directory for authentication and access control list, or ACLs, to manage access to your data. Both Azure Data Lake Store and Azure Blob Storage do not support file share or SMB access. However, with the introduction of Azure File Storage, Microsoft Azure now offers fully managed file shares in the cloud. 
Because Azure File Storage exposes file shares using the Server Message Block 3.0 SMB protocol, the predominantly used file share protocol for existing on-premises applications. Azure Data Lake Store Security will support, by general availability, encryption at rest. It transparently encrypts data flowing to and from public networks as well as at rest. Transparent server-side encryption. Users can manage their own encryption keys or let Azure Data Lake Store manage the keys using Azure Key Vault. In contrast, Azure Blob Storage does not include encryption at rest. Note that all the source sync options from SQL Server onwards can be hosted on-premises or on Azure IaaS. You can use Azure Data Factory to ingest data from Azure Tables, Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, Azure Storage Blobs, and on-premises databases. Being a first-class citizen in the Azure ecosystem, Azure Data Factory can be used to orchestrate the ingestion of data from these sources to Azure Data Lake Store. You can use the copy activity in an Azure Data Factory to move data to Azure Data Lake Store from another data store and move data from Azure Data Lake Store to another data store. Azure Data Lake Store provides a command line tool, ADL Copy, to copy data from Azure Storage Blobs into Data Lake Store. However, you cannot use ADL Copy to copy data from Data Lake Store to Azure Storage Blobs. You can use the ADL Copy tool in two ways, standalone, where the tool uses Data Lake Store resources to perform the task, and using Data Lake Analytics account, where the units assigned to your Data Lake Analytics account are used to perform the copy operation. You might want to use this option when you are looking to perform the copy tasks in a predictable manner. You can also use the Azure Import Export service for this. There is a list of open source tools for big data applications that work with Azure Data Lake Store. You can use Apache Scoop, a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between Azure Data Lake and structured data stores such as relational databases. Use distcp to copy data between Azure Storage Blobs and Azure Data Lake Store. Once you have created an HD Insight cluster that has access to a Data Lake Store account, you can use Hadoop ecosystem tools like distcp to copy to and from an HD Insight cluster storage into a Data Lake Store account. It can transfer data between Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, and Azure Data Lake Store. There are various ADL tools available for working with USQL scripts. Client-side tools. You can use Data Lake tools for Visual Studio to write and test USQL scripts. These tools allow you to be more productive with USQL, Azure Data Lake Store, and analytics from within Visual Studio. You can also use Azure PowerShell to create Azure Data Lake Analytics accounts, define Data Lake Analytics jobs in USQL, and submit jobs to Data Lake Analytics accounts. Browser-based tools. There is a tight integration of the Azure portal with ADL. You can perform the following actions in the Azure portal. Create a new Big Data Analytics account, author USQL scripts, submit USQL jobs, cancel running jobs, provision users who can submit jobs, visualize usage stats, and visualize job management chart. Azure Data Lake Store supports multiple languages for application development through Visual Studio. Azure Data Lake Store containers for data are essentially folders and files. You operate on a stored data using SDKs, the Azure Portal, and Azure PowerShell. As long as you put your data into the store using these interfaces and using the appropriate containers, you can store any type of data. Data Lake Store does not perform any special handling of data based on the type of data it stores. Getting started with Azure Data Lake Store using the Azure Portal. In this demo, we will learn how to use the Azure Portal to create an Azure Data Lake Store account and perform basic operations such as creating folders, uploading and downloading data files, and deleting your account. First, we need to create an Azure Data Lake Store account. Sign in to the new Azure Portal. Click New, then click Data Plus Storage, and then click Azure Data Lake Store. In the new Data Lake Store blade, Provide the values as required. Name, unique name for your account. Subscription, select the subscription under which you want to create the new Data Lake Store account. Resource group, 
select an existing resource group or click create a resource group to create one. A resource group is a container that holds related resources for an application. Location. Select a location where you want to create the Data Lake Store account. Next, select Pin to Startboard if you want the Data Lake Store account to be accessible from the Startboard, then click Create. Once the Data Lake Store account is provisioned, the account blade shows up. Expand the Essentials dropdown to see the information about your Data Lake Store account, such as the resource group it is a part of, the location, and so on. Click the Quick Start icon to see links to other resources related to the Data Lake Store. Now we will create folders under your Data Lake Store account to manage and store data. Open the Data Lake Store account. From the left pane, click Browse, click Data Lake Store, and then from the Data Lake Store blade, click the account name under which you want to create folders. If you pin the account to the startboard, click that account tile. In your Data Lake Store account blade, click Data Explorer. In your Data Lake Store account blade, click New Folder, enter a name for the new folder, and then click OK. The newly created folder will be listed in the Data Explorer blade. You can create nested folders up to any level. Now we will upload data to the Azure Data Lake Store account. You can upload your data directly at the root level or to a folder that you created within the account. Upload a file to the subfolder with the Data Explorer blade. In the screen, the file is uploaded to a subfolder shown in the breadcrumbs. You can also view the properties and actions available on the stored data. Click the newly added file to open the properties blade. The properties associated with the file and the actions you can perform on the file are available in this blade. You can also copy the full path to the file in your Azure Data Lake Store account. You can click Preview to see a preview of the file directly from the browser. You can specify the format of the preview as well. Click Preview, then Format in the File Preview blade, and in the File Preview Format blade, specify the options such as number of rows to display, encoding to use, delimiter to use, and so on. You can also delete an Azure Data Lake Store account using the Azure Portal. To delete an Azure Data Lake Store account, from your Data Lake Store blade, click Delete. To confirm the action, you'll be prompted to enter the name of the account you wish to delete. Enter the name of the account, and then click Delete.